The late Jack Lincoln bought a gift shop in St. Regis in 1962. Since then, Montana Slim, his friendly cowboy, has passed on. But a major attraction that's delighted tourists and locals for generations remains. The tradition of having a fish display or a trout display. Jack's daughter Muffy and her husband Gary Bullock replaced Jack's original gift shop with a new one. Plus a restaurant famous for its huckleberry shakes, a casino, convenience store and fuel stop. And now two trout aquariums both fed from an artesian well. One large aquarium that's about 2,000 gallons. Um, and then we have a round aquarium that kids can get underneath and get inside, and it's about 500 gallons. The water is kept at 45 degrees. The smaller aquarium houses younger, smaller fish. The big tank is for the big guys. These tanks are made of acrylic. The original aquarium was uh, concrete. The fish came from the river and the streams around here. He would pay local kids a buck an inch to bring in fish, and that's how the aquariums were stocked back then. That practice has changed. We don't do that anymore. All of our fish come from licensed fish, wildlife, and parks hatcheries. For many, visiting the aquarium is family tradition. We get a lot of joy out of hearing customers that say they came through with their parents when they were kids and their parents came through when they were kids. Kids especially pay attention to the signs advertising the Trout Aquarium off exit 33 on I-90. For many, it's the first place they head. From it's a I chance to obtain a basic right trout there. education and to get a close-up look at four species of trout. Brown brook cutthroat. Just yeah. fat fish. The aquarium does not stock bull, tr bull trout because it's a protected species, but eventually it hopes to add Arctic grayling to the family. Nick Brannon takes care of the fish. I have a fisherman, so to be able to, you know, walk up and, you know, see these monster fish and being able to, you know, feed them, clean their tank, you know, watch after them, just gives you a peace of mind. Nick loves to watch them grow. He especially likes the little guys. I do, I do. They're a lot more active in, in their growing process, you know, trying to get fed as much as they do. They're more energetic. He gets all kinds of questions. What kind of fish are these? Where do we, where can I catch one? How, how big do they get? How long do they, you know, live for? With no predators, they live between four to eight years. But Nick says there is a pecking order. We've got some bullies in there, but same in the real world. It's, you know, they're more protected here. Spending as much time with them as Nick does, he thinks they kind of know him. He is the food guy. They usually hide out in one spot, so they'll come out into, you know, these little areas and, you know, somewhat greet. The fish caretaker knows them. He talks to them. He'll even bring his kids in to see them on his days off. They're his friends. They are. I love them. But he doesn't name them. I don't name them because if, if they go, then I don't want to like, oh, there goes, you know, Brutus or, you know, what have you. We just call them all big boys and, you know, little guy. So why trout? That's what people come here to catch. That's what people are most familiar with. And really, they're probably the prettiest fish that we have in our local streams. So we have fishermen that come in here and um, take a look at uh, what they potentially could find at the end of their line. It's a relaxing way to spend time peering into the mysterious world of fish. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.